Uh, I just hope in this message to the stream um, will draw people towards you, Lord, into your table in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, as I'm starting out this uh, dream, it starts off, there's like people all around and everything, and there's this table, and I'm, I know I have to get to this table. So then, when I get to this table, um, I believe this is Jesus' table. It's a long table kind of deal. And um, I believe Jesus is at the front. Um, and at that point, all the other people around us just, like, disappear. And we're up in, like, space kind of deal is the best way I can describe it. And there's other people at this table. Um, and, like, they each have, like, something different on their plate, most of them. And they're, like, almost frozen, like, you know? And I just saw, like, this tablet with words on it. You know, it's like the bread of life, the words of Jesus. And I just started eating up really, really fast. Yeah, I'm laid down. And there's one other person, I believe, that was able to move. And... Jesus is basically saying, you know, uh, now, or something to the fact of, now the beginning age of the New Testament has started. And he was saying all the prophets of old shall be taken away. And someone was like, are they going to die? I like, and I was, basically I said, I was like, no, they're just, they're still going to be alive. But they're just going to be taken away. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. And <clears throat> so he's giving me a compliment. And I just think, like, okay, how's the best way to humbly answer or respond to that? And I'm just like, uh, uh, thank you for that mention or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I said. Um, so, yeah. And from that, on the one verse, um, from all this, I'm giving you guys uh, Isaiah 54, 13. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. And... You know, from what I'm understanding is in the New Testament, that's when Jesus came and he taught the people himself personally. And I think this is what's really going on now spiritually. And just a bit of confirmation I came across too. Um, yesterday someone posted, and I didn't even know that they did. They're talking about how everybody's going to um, other people's table to get the knowledge, but they're not going to Jesus' table. You know, they're going to pastors, people on YouTube. They're trying to get a word from God that way, and what they really need to be going to is um, Christ's table. And he's saying, it's like, yeah, I'm taking those prophets. Uh, the way we used, the way things used to be done is a new, new way, new how. And he's in that verse right there, you know, he's saying, hey, I am the one that shall be teaching here. It's not going to be my prophets, um, like in the old times and all that. It's going to be me. The Lord's going to be the one teaching you. Through his word and through his spirit, he should be teaching you. And you don't need to be going to a pastors and all that and saying, hey, give us a word. Give us a morsel, all that. And we just need to turn our eyes towards Christ. And he's going to reveal things in his time. And as we seek him, remember, when there is a treasure in the earth, you know, you have to dig. You have to work for that treasure. It's not just an easy, pleasy, oh, well, just go grab and get the word from someone else and that's fine but you're going to be sitting at a harlot's table then 
And what you need to do yourself is you need to be digging in and getting the word for yourself. Otherwise, you're getting it from some other source. It's not Jesus. And granted, yes, the Lord can speak through other people. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying this. the main point of this message is you turn to Christ, you get that treasure directly from him and not from man. Okay. God bless.